weapon manufacturers produce approximately 3 million AR-15 rifles annually. Have you ever wondered how such a high volume of firearms is manufactured with precision and efficiency? Explore the intricacies of this production process with Trending Farm to gain insight into the steps involved. The AR-15 rifle's history traces back to the 1950s, when it was originally designed by Eugene Stoner as the Armalite AR-10 for military use. This innovative design featured a lightweight, modular approach that emphasized ease of use and accuracy. In the early 1960s, the design was adapted into the AR-15, a semi-automatic variant intended for civilian use. The AR-15 gained prominence when the rights to the design were sold to Colt's manufacturing company, which rebranded it as a versatile and customizable rifle for the civilian market. Its reputation was further solidified during the 1960s and 1970s, when it was marketed as a reliable firearm for sports shooting and self-defense. Over the decades, the AR-15 evolved through various iterations incorporating advancements in materials and technology, Its widespread use and adaptability contributed to its status as a prominent firearm in American gun culture, leading to its role in ongoing debates over gun rights and regulation. The design and production of AR-15 rifles rely on sophisticated engineering and cutting-edge technologies. To determine the specifications for manufacturing, engineers perform module calculations using detailed parametric models and finite element analysis fee. High-performance materials, such as alloy steels and advanced polymer composites, are chosen for their mechanical properties and durability. Computer-aided design CAD is employed for creating precise digital blueprints while computer-aided manufacturing CAM optimizes machining and fabrication processes. Additionally, additive manufacturing, commonly known as 3D printing, is used for rapid prototyping and producing complex geometries with high accuracy. These technologies collectively enhance the efficiency and quality of AR-15 production.
Building on the advanced design and technology steps, the manufacturing process of the AR-15 rifle progresses through several crucial stages. Initially, high-grade materials such as aircraft-grade aluminum alloys and high-strength steel are meticulously selected to ensure optimal performance. Okay, final. Subsequently, CNC computer numerical control machining is employed to achieve precise tolerances and intricate geometries, aligning with the specifications established during the design phase. Following machining, aluminum components undergo anodizing, an electrolytic oxidation process that enhances surface hardness and corrosion resistance. In addition, the barrel is treated with a chrome lining through a chemical plating process, which improves its durability and resistance to wear. Moreover, steel parts receive nitride hardening, or salt bath nitriding, which significantly boosts surface hardness, fatigue resistance, and corrosion protection. These interconnected manufacturing steps ensure that the AR-15 rifle is both reliable and durable under demanding conditions. Building on the advanced design and technology steps, the manufacturing process of the AR-15 rifle progresses through several crucial stages. Initially, high-grade materials such as aircraft-grade aluminum alloys and high-strength steel are meticulously selected to ensure optimal performance. Subsequently, CNC computer numerical control machining is employed to achieve precise tolerances and intricate geometries, aligning with the specifications established during the design phase. Following machining, aluminum components undergo anodizing an electrolytic oxidation process that enhances surface hardness and corrosion resistance. In addition, the barrel is treated with a chrome lining through a chemical plating process, which improves its durability and resistance to wear. Moreover, steel parts receive nitride hardening or salt bath nitriding, which significantly boosts surface hardness, fatigue resistance, and corrosion protection. These interconnected manufacturing steps ensure that the AR-15 rifle is both reliable and durable under demanding conditions.
The AR-15 rifle has emerged as a powerful symbol of American identity, embodying both the principles of personal freedom and the cultural significance of gun ownership. For many Americans, owning an AR-15 is seen as a manifestation of individual liberty and self-reliance, reflecting a long-standing tradition of firearm ownership as a cornerstone of freedom. This perception is deeply rooted in the nation's history and values, where the right to bear arms is often associated with personal autonomy and resistance against tyranny. However, this view is complex and contested, as the AR-15's association with high-profile incidents and debates on gun control highlights the ongoing discourse about the balance between freedom and public safety. The rifle thus represents not only a symbol of freedom, but also a focal point in the broader conversation about responsible gun ownership and societal impact. The views we present here are based on personal perspectives, not excluding, condemning, or criticizing any behavior, attitude, or viewpoint of any individual or organization. We encourage smart viewers to filter necessary and useful information and be aware of protecting the health and safety of themselves and those around them. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the Trending Farm channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos exploring the livestock industry and modern food factories. Goodbye and see you in the next videos. Coca-Cola, a global icon, was born in 1886 when pharmacist John Pemberton from Atlanta mixed the first batch. Originally, they were a cocaine-based drug called French wine of coca. To reach a wider market, Pemberton removed the alcohol, added sugar, and created Coca-Cola, a drink that could be sold at beverage counters. Coca-Cola's secret formula has been closely guarded for more than a century. In 1915, the distinctive contoured bottle was born, helping Coca-Cola stand out among its competitors. During World War I, Coca-Cola provided drinking water for soldiers, becoming an American cultural symbol. In the 20th century, Coca-Cola spread throughout the world, with modern polar bears and Santa Claus images associated with the brand. The brand has since introduced many flavors, appearing in music movies, and enjoyed by astronauts in space. The red and white logo and advertising campaigns create a personal connection with consumers. Besides, Coca-Cola is also associated with sporting events and environmentally friendly packaging initiatives. During difficult times, 
Coca-Cola supported the community and became a cultural phenomenon with a lasting impact. If the historical story helps you better understand the birth journey of Coca-Cola, the next part of the video will help you better understand what is inside a bottle of Coca-Cola. Don't forget to share the video with your friends to spread this special information. Coca-Cola is created from a unique blend of carefully selected ingredients to deliver its signature taste. Key ingredients include high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, caffeine, and phosphoric acid. High fructose corn syrup, made from corn starch, acts as a sweetener, while caramel color gives Coca-Cola its characteristic dark brown color. Caffeine has a stimulating effect and phosphoric acid provides a slightly sour taste to balance the sweetness. The drink's flavor profile, a closely guarded secret, includes a blend of natural flavors such as vanilla, cinnamon, and citrus. Coca-Cola ensures consistent quality across all manufacturing sites by adhering to strict standards and testing the purity and quality of each batch of ingredients. Additionally, preservatives, stabilizers, and flavor enhancers are used to maintain the consistency and shelf life of the beverage. Coca-Cola's commitment to sourcing and blending the finest ingredients is what sets Coca-Cola apart from other beverages on the market. A special feature of Coca-Cola's business strategy is the construction of a completely closed production system, which impresses many other companies. Coca-Cola proactively builds plastic packaging factories to serve the packaging process. The production process begins by converting crude oil into polyethylene terephthalate PET through distillation. PET is made into small plastic pellets, then melted at about 115 degrees Celsius formed into precursor shapes and blown into finished plastic bottles. These bottles are cooled, washed, labeled, and finally filled with Coca-Cola at the bottling plant. Coca-Cola also uses aluminum bottles, starting from recycling old aluminum into large aluminum rolls, then rolling them into aluminum sheets, cutting and stamping them into bottle shapes. The aluminum bottles are washed, printed with the Coca-Cola logo, and coated with a protective layer on the inside to prevent acids from the beverage from corroding the aluminum. Finally, the bottles are cooled, quality checked, and packaged. The process of filling Coca-Cola into bottles is controlled automatically to ensure each bottle has the correct amount of drink, with the bottle cap tightly closed to trap carbon dioxide and protect the product from dirt and bacteria. Carbonation is important in the production process of Coca-Cola. At the Marietta, Georgia bottling plant, the process begins by mixing vats of secret syrup with water.
This mixture is then carbonated with CO2 to create the characteristic effervescent effect. The beverage is filled into bottles in the food factory at temperatures between 41 and 43 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid foaming and maintain stability. After a final inspection to ensure purity by food factory workers, the bottles are packaged and shipped. This meticulous and secret process preserves the distinctive and famous taste of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola maintains rigorous quality control and safety standards across all its global manufacturing plants, including in the U.S. A traceability system tracks raw materials and finished products to swiftly address any quality or safety issues. The production process is meticulously monitored with thorough inspections of finished products to ensure they meet all requirements. Factories are regularly cleaned and employees follow strict hygiene protocols. U.S. plants are certified by organizations like SQF and HACCP for quality and food safety. Additionally, Coca-Cola's packaging is recyclable, aligning with global environmental trends. With more than 1.9 billion drinks served every day, Coca-Cola is one of the largest beverage companies in the world. It started with a single product sold in pharmacies for 5 cents a glass. Currently, Coca-Cola Group owns a huge product portfolio with more than 4,300 products and 500 brands globally. However, according to data from Statista, Coca-Cola beverage consumption in the U.S. in the recent five years has tended to decrease slightly. Beverage consumption reached 41.8 million U.S. gallons in 2019 and will only be about 38.5 million U.S. gallons in 2023. In recent years, consumer tastes are gradually shifting to products that are lower in sugar and healthier. Therefore, Coca-Cola is also promoting the development of new product lines to meet this demand such as Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, Vitamin Water, Dasani. In 2021, they launched Topo Chico Hard Seltzer for the first time. first company to market to enter the U.S. alcoholic beverage industry in nearly four decades. The company also invested in sports drinks with body armor and acquired Costa, a British coffee company. Although the pandemic caused many disruptions, in the first quarter of 2021, Coca-Cola reported a 5% increase in net sales to $9 billion. With an extensive distribution network and continuous innovation, Coca-Cola hopes to recover strongly from the pandemic, although still facing challenges such as tax disputes with the IRS and COVID upheavals 19. What do you think about these impressive numbers from the beverage company Coca-Cola? Leave comment number one if you are also a fan of this carbonated drink.
If you find information about the Coca-Cola production process interesting, please like the video and share so more people can know. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.